Good afternoon to you on Youth Empowerment Television Show, showing on Pan-African TV, Ghana's number one television station as we have at the moment. It's 18 minutes after one. If you are doing the viewing from Facebook, just don't forget to drop your comments below the, the, the video so that we read it for you. If you want to join via WhatsApp or text messages, 054-850-3799, 054-850-3799. If you're watching us outside Ghana and you want to send your WhatsApp message or you want to send your text message make sure you do that with a country code plus two three three or zero zero two three three then you add the five four eight five zero three seven nine nine today we were supposed to have an editorial on nukes and how the future looks like if nukes is unable to hold their elections and as it's where they are handing over ceremony as you know it, it's stated clearly in their constitution um the, the the whole editorial process is taking a lot of time and i think it's good for 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 our viewers to enjoy this on wednesday so we wanted to capture everything especially the, the players and all of that it needs to be captured my guest is already seated uh when we posted the artwork we're going to have him on the show lots of questions even started coming before he 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 he, he made his mind to 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 join us uh without wasting much time i would want to go straight into introducing my guest to you he is dennis apia labi ampofu um he is a former slc president for university of cape coast and uh who's uh former vice i'm sure the vice chancellor during his uh, his time is the current running mate of um the the the, the opposition uh, uh, NDC. He's also the CEO for Afra Cup Ghana, and he's also a law student. He's actually in my class. We are, we are, we are, we are, we are, we are learned friends or learning colleagues here. So, um, Dennis, you're welcome. Thank you. Very it's such much. a pleasure to have you. I'm we are, we are unable to to greet properly. I'm uh, I'm <clears> so, for those who are watching and seeing you for the first time, when we say Dennis, who is Dennis? Thank you very much. I mean, mm. I'm grateful mm. to, uh, to to come yeah. up and be joining yeah. you here. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, my regards to your producer and everyone mm. who's made the show possible, okay. and especially to our lovely viewers, mm. Um, mm. to every student of our country, to yeah. uh, my regards to every student. Yeah. Um, my name is Dennis. Uh, those who like me prefer to call me Nyajidi. Um, and those who don't like you? Um, I think they might have to create their own name. Yeah. <laughs> okay. I, I actually don't believe there are people who don't like you. Yeah. Uh, everyone likes you. Because some, you said some, the, the some people are indifferent, yeah, actually. Anyway. Uh -huh. mm. uh, basically, I'm, a, I'm an entrepreneur and I'm a student. Uh, I'm a student activist and I'm a youth leader. I believe in entrepreneurship and um, intentional leadership. Intentional uh, leadership? Yes, uh, yeah, okay. yeah. For me, I feel leadership can't be impromptu. It can be all of a sudden. It must be nurtured. And um, I've been around um, student fraternity and student leadership for the last mm -hmm. decade, uh, <coughs> dating for, back. For 10 years? Yes, yeah. Mm -hmm. Dating back from my days with the regional SRC, mm -hmm. where I was trustee for. Mm -hmm. uh, I moved to the University of Cape Coast, became hall president in my second year for Gua Hall. Mm -hmm. um, and then I became SRC president. I've been in okay. EC before. Oh wow! Yes, uh, Nooks easy. Yes, uh, mm. I've I've served two times on Nooks neck. Mm. I've been I've been mm. on neck twice. Okay, uh, that's good. I, I've been through the mill, uh, and I'm here. I'm now struggling on the streets of Accra mm. to make a living uh, yeah. with my yeah. company. Yeah. It's yeah. a fruit yeah. juice producing company. Okay. Yeah, we do natural juices. Mm. Uh, so we are we are run we are we are in <clears throat> Ghana trying to push our yeah. country as much yeah. as we can. Yeah. yeah. So if you have just joined us, we're having an exclusive interview with uh, Dennis. He's a student activist. He's, uh, like, like he said, I mean, he, he's a law student currently, and uh, he's a former University of Cape Coast SLC president, and uh, he has joined us to have uh, a good discussion this particular um, uh, um, afternoon. I uh, want to say uh, um, um, uh, a speedy recovery to, to my mom. I, I wish her um, all the best in, in this challenging times of her health. In the in, in this times, um, that is what, what what has been your drive in student leadership and youth leadership? Is, is it an what 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 gave you that particular inspiration to build such such, such portfolio? Yeah, I think um, Richie, basically we would have to um, look for an internal an intrinsic drive. Mm. So every individual has some intrinsic um, movement in the person. So. Uh, 
it bonds with your environment and your yeah. upbringing. So my personal drive has always been to have an impact around me. Okay. Uh, coupled with the environment I found myself in at a young age, mm -hmm. uh, with the original SRC. Yeah. So the two makes a person and his philosophy. Yeah. And my philosophy has always been in leadership must be intentional. Okay. So <clears throat> for me, it's a matter of deliberate attempt to step into the gap and provide leadership where there is none. Mm -hmm. uh, if we are not careful and we decide to stand aloof, I believe um, people who uh, may not have the requisite skill to lead the group, uh, uh, the student front, may step in and do so. So that's been a drive. The drive is to make impact, to ensure that we provide the needed leadership mm -hmm. the student front has needed and will always need it to ensure we, we, we write a good story for the student mm -hmm. front. So mm -hmm. it's a matter of um, there should be leadership. If not you, who? That's my point. Mm. If not you, who? Yeah. So there is a need that you are trained, mm -hmm. the system trains you, moves you, and presents you mm. to stand in the gap and provide the leadership that is rightly yeah. needed for the front. Yeah. Uh, so um, the impact, yes, we need to make. Mm. And two, the gap we must fill. Mm. And three, we must ensure that we are providing intentional, competent leadership to the student front mm. at every point in time. Mm. That's been the drive. And the drive has been sharing our first from the last 10 years and we've made sure that wherever we found ourselves as a, as a group of people mm -hmm. in as much as we don't come from a very good background or a rich background we provide what is needed yeah. to ensure that uh, yeah. the student front yeah. is going so so, so let, let's take it like this you were the src president for university of cape coast yeah what were your major achievement points yeah, uh, University of Cape Coast has uh, 65,000 student population. 65,000. 65,000. Yes. That's when you combine your regular ritual distance school. Oh. Uh, so it's a huge, it's a huge place to lead. Uh, uh, for me, I stepped in when I was um, uh, quite a younger. Does your distance have a, a different SRC president? They have a district president, but they don't have a, di uh, a, a different SRC president. The SRC president is one for everybody. Okay, so, so the this the one president this sag is distance, so it's, it's like an association president. Okay. So just like having a, a departmental a president, union president, business, you understand? Okay. Yes. So that's how the president represent all the sixty five thousand students at council. Okay. Yes, and so for my days in SRC, I stepped what, in. What, 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 what year was that? I I stepped in twenty sixteen. Twenty sixteen. Yeah. Was that before Professor was? No, did you that, Professor? You came after Professor. After Professor, I worked okay. with uh, um, uh, Professor Ampiagate and okay. Professor Kupoli. Okay, so uh, what, what it means is that when you were level hundred, Professor, professor was just exiting. When she I, had exited or was ex was exiting. She she exited in twenty thirteen, okay. and I got to school in twenty thirteen. But did you meet at Vice Chancellor before? No, 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 no. Okay, she had okay. just left the office. But you saw some legacy. legacy. Of course, did I was, she have some I, legacy? We'll discuss that one on a different note. Yeah. Okay, uh, we'll discuss your legacy so on a different note. Mm, um, mm, uh, mm. I wouldn't want to tell, go there tell, for tell, now. Tell, tell us about your actually. Yes, uh, so I I stepped in, and uh, one of the things we did that was very important to me was an entrepreneurship project. Uh, for me, I feel. The, the, one of the major important things to, to solve the challenges of our country at large is a drive for entrepreneurship. Mm. So just like countries like Estonia, who've, who've driven the thought of entrepreneurship to raise their countries, well, it is entrepreneurship. So we wrote Which out country? Estonia. And you think they've done well with entrepreneurship? They, they are doing marvelous. You okay. may want to look at, at what they are doing in, in the field of entrepreneurship. So you look at um, our, our, our point. Our point was that mobilize student ideas. The students pay dues to you. Instead of throwing it around on unnecessary farm fairs, weeks, farm fairs and so unnecessary farm fairs, mm -hmm. why don't you still pick some of these monies, support student entrepreneurship projects on campus, fund them where it's possible, mm -hmm. provide technical assistance where it's possible. Mm -hmm. So we pulled in a technical team of about 12 from faculty, from field research, and then the mm -hmm. corporate world. We mobilized, then we, coll we collated entrepreneurship ideas from mm -hmm. students, then we rolled it out. We funded students within the range of 3,000 to 10,000 Ghana cities wow. support to students. Some opened up fashion uh, places, farming and all that. Then again, we also did another project called the Student Welfare Assistance Policy. It's still in operation in UCC. That's SWAF. So in school, uh, students are on campus and sometimes they are, they are dry. Something to buy books is even a problem. So we set up a committee with the dean's office. Then we, they, it's their money. Find a way to give it back to them when they need it. We, we gave out a uh, uh, struggling uh, 200 to 100 Ghana cities at the tail end of the semester. Soft when loans or yeah. just free? It was free. Okay. It was free to students. And it was, it was chaired by a trustee headed by the dean's office. It was from the student population. We chaired it two times. So that's from the SRC dues. How yes. much was their dues then? The, uh, at that time, we're paying. No, no, no. It was 10 cities. 
Oh, okay. It was 10 cities. Then we, we brought in the student, uh, taxi identification system or the vehicle identification mm. system. Mm. So UCC, in UCC, during those times, a lot of issues of theft cases and all that. So with the university, it's still in, 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 in force. Every, stick, every taxi or vehicle must have a sticker mm. so that it identifies. Then we brought the uh, electrification. All this was brought by you? Yes, please. Wow. Electrification <laughs> project where uh -huh. we uh, we did a three-kilometer road, uh -huh. a full street lightning wow. project, also funded by the student mm. SRC dues. Mm. Then we moved on to our um, um, summer hat project. Um, three different summer hats at three different places. We ensure that every every all of these are built from scratch to tow. Then we, mm. we, we, we finished or we completed the student uh, the complex, the uh, university student complex, mm. uh, which houses the ATLFM mm. and then the broadcasting center. Uh, and the, a huge edifice, uh, a two-story building by the SRC, then we finished it. I mm. took it over when it was 68%. I completed it and I, we finished it mm. entirely. Then we, for the area of sport, too, we brought the campus leg currently uh, in, in, in force on campus, uh, where hostels could have a league which every place every week students could have that sort of sporting activity and sporting feel. Um, then we moved on to the part payment policy. For 10 years, we have been battling to ensure that the University of Cape Coast has a part payment policy for, for fees. fees, for yeah. fees. It, was, it was not enforced. Um, by the grace of God, by the support of the students, we got it up and running. And then we brought um, the... Uh, Lecture theater renovation project too, which was rolled out and uh, massively done. We introduced the brass band system. Some, somebody would say these achievements are good, but if you have the student population of 65,000, 10 cities per South that's 650,000 Ghana city. That could build a, a whole, a whole, a whole block for them. Yes, yeah, so we did that. Okay. We, that that's so you, I, did, you didn't mention a block. Yeah, I, I, I mentioned, I mentioned the story, the, the SRC complex. You built the SRC complex. Yes. We didn't start from scratch, actually. That should be put exactly. on Exactly. So how much did you spend in building that? Oh, I can't have the figures. So it's been over so four years. you can't have the figures? Figures of head, four so, years. But was it above 100,000 cities? Of course. You, want, you would want to see that building. Mm. You would mm. want to see I'm that saying building. You, you continued. You used more than 100,000 to continue. You would want to see more that. More than 200,000? You would want to see that no building. No problem, but more than 200,000 I don't have the cities. figure of head. I mean, but, you, but it would be more than 100,000. Uh, I doubt. I doubt. I doubt. I, it should. It should be around the regions of hundred, hundred thousand. But I mean, between the, the you see, you see the, 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 the thing about uh, sub projects on University of Cape Coast is that, as much as SRC initiates bills and all those things, the procurement process is entirely out of your hands. So the procurement process is entirely out. So of who, hands. who secure? Who, who takes it, care it, of it, that? It's committee. It's entirely done by the university. Okay. The system because the pro procurement law clearly states how procurement processes should go about in public. Yes, facilities. but so, so the, what you're what you're trying to say is that during your time of office, public has a for public records and public fact has it that there was no instance where you had to do procurement on the soap on 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 the on the on SRC the, on accord. The, not the SRC accord, but you 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 presented something that has to go on a so a so a so man affair in terms on, of on record no. People we, submitted, people went through tender. Every, every, it, it, when we came in in the University of Cape Coast, around that time, the Pro Procurement Act was being uh, re, um, amended mm. if, uh, around 2015, 2016. So we, we met a, a, a tight uh, area of procurement processes. So at every point in time, everything we did, our magazines, our lacrosse, everything had to go through a strict procurement process. And I'm comfortable I had that time because it, 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 it sort of um, prevents any... Um, Issue of you, you've had this to do with this, you have because, because you, you were set yourself aside because you were comfortable because I'm not involved. Were you paid as a house president? <coughs> no, were you taking commission? You were paid a 200 cities allowance per month. Did you take it? Yes, I, I mean, it was a legitimate. You sign and you take it. Yes, it's 200 cities but allowance. You, you, you didn't month. see the need to give it out for free. I, how I gave it out for free is something that should be of a public good. You did it as, as an instant of good. You don't need to be on TV. There were times the president had declared that, or past president or past government officials said, I was president, I never took my salary, I never did this, I gave it to the state. You see, the, the, my, my point has always been, it's, mm. it, 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 you've not done um, anything extraordinary. Yeah. So to sit on TV to say, I gave this to this, um, this it's person. It's not extraordinary. I, I think it's not extraordinary. But the SRC fund that supported or alleviated 
people who were suffering with 200 cities, 100 cities. That is extraordinary. That is, okay. that is what you were voted into power to do, to ensure that every bit of your stay in office mm -hmm. creates an impact for the students' populace. Yeah. That to everyone who is suffering, to every student who is suffering and benefited from... The 200 cities was paid from the SRC dues or from where? Yes, from the SRC dues. Okay. So it pay, was it from account processes or you submitted and took the money and The said. good thing is that, you see, that's what I'm saying, uh, one credit to University it, of Cape it, It's good we are, we are listening to... to yeah. uh, we, are, we are looking at this because viewers and other institutions will look at how you, we, you we, have strong institutions yeah. in place. I think, I think that credits, in as much as um, I, I be, I'm a believer of institutions and systems, because I feel structures is the only way of preventing abuse of power and corrupt Were you after Francis or before Francis? After Francis. Right, Francis, Francis handed was over, a good friend. Uh, yeah. Who handed over rightly yeah, to me. Yeah. So uh, most credit to him too. Yeah, most yeah, of yeah. the things we are, were able to achieve were because of the foundations he built. Mm -hmm. So uh, let me put this across. The University of Cape Coast has a bit of strong structures when it comes to financial discipline and, mm -hmm. and fiscal discipline. So l let's say with the SWAF. The, the rule is that the actually doesn't even disperse it. After everything is f finished through... It's your money, but the check is sent to the cash office. The investor does the payment. People come authenticate and they are paid through the cash office of the investee. So you don't have any fiscal contact so, with the so, so, for example, University of Ghana SRC wants me to do an SRC week. We have negotiations. We sign a contract that I'm the one you are outsourcing the contract with. It means that the investor will pay me. Yes. So, so I can negotiate and tell you that the budget be eighty thousand. Charlie, give me twenty thousand. I go to invest. Eighty thousand is what I will use. I can take it and bring you twenty thousand. I think is that a case? I think we should put this. We should put this uh, uh, straightforward mm. yeah. with every system, with the, even with the UK system and with all systems. Let's put this on record. There's a loop, there are loose ends. The, the, if if human beings do not des desire to um, be strong yeah. and prevent themselves from being corrupted, mm. they can't be corrupted. Okay, for, for the records and for people you have dealt with in the past, are you corrupt? No. I'm comfortable with that. You see, when I ended my administration, I was audited twice. First by the investors' internal system and second by an external system. Why did they have to, 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 to audit you twice? To, yes, because it's a, it, that's the structure. That's the policy. But Francis wasn't audited twice. He was. Twice. He was. To authenticate you, you must audit. There is an internal audit and there is an external audit. You see, we need to subject ourselves to the test of our quality and our competence. So you are not corrupt? I am not corrupt. As a human being? I have being. never been corrupt. As a human being? I have never been corrupt. As, as a, a human, human being, being? As Dennis, as a human being, as every as person. former president. I am confident about it when I say it on national TV. You see, this is because after being uh, 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 audited twice, I have, an, I have an exit conference which brings auditors on board to pick every point of your expenditure in the administration mm. to be cleared through those processes but people say means. one of the first things that changed about you when you won SRS president was your phone you changed your phone in your during your term you, of still, administration. You, you still can look at the phone i'm using that's what you use when you came into power you still can have a look i'm not i'm not your typical fancy phone type so i use my phone from the days of my whole presidency to the day of my src presidency till i handed over so the phone was rolled from my hands so i mean that's that's not a point so, of so you're saying your phone you are using mm -hmm. is a phone you use from not from, this one not yes. this one but i'm saying if you so look you're at saying phone, you never bought a phone during administration i bought i never bought a new your phone. friends though your room those who don't know it I, the phone i was using when i was in src's office was the phone i was using when i was a Guaha president okay you see fortunately for me i had the opportunity of serving the students populace twice mm -hmm. i am not perfect and i can't sit on tv to say that i had my bad and i had my good but that one thing is for sure during my days as whole president and during my days as src president my uh, principles and philosophies were still strong and intact mm. Uh, whatever I, I did, I did and I served the students of the University of Cape Coast with utmost respect and responsibleness. I have my downfalls as a human being, yeah. and that must be underscored. Yeah. Uh -huh. But again, uh, yeah, you can't put away the fact that yeah. you also had our impact. Yeah, yeah. very well. Uh, if you just join us, we are having an exclusive interview with um, one of the strongest personalities we have in student politics, and, 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 and I mean, on behalf of young people as a whole. Daniel Apialabi Ampofo is my guest. He's a former investor of Cape Coast, SLC president. He's also the CEO for Afra Cup Ghana, and he's a law student. Actually, those who are sending me a message to slow down, he's my friend. He's also my <laughs> class. We are we are all studying law in the same school, so don't don't worry. I, <laughs> we we know we know what we are about. I, I'll be going for a break. When I come back, um, <laughs> you know, always when I say when I come back, the rest will be fire. I'll be back after this break. Stay tuned. is a ladder that leads you all the way to the top.
practically, all your dreams and aspirations of getting into management or even becoming a successful entrepreneur are hinged on your career success. Today, universities and colleges are churning out yearly more and more graduates just like you, all of whom are going to compete in the same industries for the same jobs. This means more graduates stepping over each other for fewer jobs. The good news? The right education can make you more employable in a job market that is increasingly competitive. You can stand out amongst your peers with a Blue Crest education. An education that understands the needs and challenges of the job market and prepares you ahead through progressive and inclusive learning. Our students are given the creative freedom that encourages personal development and are offered unfilled opportunities for professional growth. Acquiring a Blue Crest education means being guided to identify and pursue your interest in fashion, ICT, business and journalism, and using the skills acquired in the course of learning to prepare yourself for life. Don't be indifferent to your education. Your career depends on it. Enroll at Blue Crest College today. Visit www.bluecrest.edu.gh. back from that particular quick break and uh, of course this is youth empowerment tv show and um as usual we are having a very nice time here and um i'm sure you're enjoying yourself let me read this message good afternoon mr sapon dennis labi ampofu is a great student leader with a lot of accumulated exp expertise working with him on ucc campus was a great moment for me more grace to his elbow this is opd from kumasi this one says that um good afternoon are you live on facebook yes we are uh he says he speaks well and is very confident let him know i am watching this is nicholas nicodem okay this one says that good afternoon host nice program you have dennis is one of the best slc president university of cape coast has ever had i would not be surprised to to see him as ghana's president a uh, very necessary go forth is my name okay uh let me get some text messages here too this one says that hi mr host i'm watching you i have the same color and design you have wore today <laughs> my tailor is asking me to pay 150 ghana cd can you please do me some mobile money <laughs> 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 don't worry right <laughs> you don't know what they are paid hey all right so um, um 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 it's good it's good it's good it's good okay mercy mercedes as many the author of beyond the clitoris you are watching and you know you owe me a lot so um um okay 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 so i'm, I'm going to go to the you, you you also said with all these achievements you you have as um former ucc slc president such a huge position what it means is that you handled Six hundred and fifty thousand average no not average, let's say five hundred thousand Ghana because not everybody would pay <laughs> somewhat up to five hundred thousand Ghana CD you supervise as a SLC president, though not directly in contact with, with, with such money. Five hundred thousand Ghana CD. People don't know SLC, you control such huge funds. More, it's more than that. It, it's yeah. more than if that. If I figure so serve me right, the entire entirety of the monies that were raised by an SRC or that's raised by SRCs across the country, some of them will marvel you. It runs into millions. Millions of cities yep. that the SRCs control those yep. money. So yep. becoming an SRC president is a if, huge if, thing. It's a huge thing. And if you are not corrupt, you will be rich. Yeah. Mm. But, but were you here. tempted at But I'm here, I'm not corrupt. Yeah, I'm I not know, rich. but, but well, at, at, at times when you were tempted into taking such money how did you inspire yourself to restrain you see um there's one thing that should guide our steps mm. going forth in the future mm -hmm. everything that we've lived mm -hmm. even the ones that were very little would come back one day so today mm. um i sit on here and i'm confident to quote figures this is because mm. if there was a report written about me mm. on ucc campus that dennis did so and so and so 
I don't think I would even honor, I would have honored the invitation in the okay, first Okay, let instance. me read this to you. Yeah. Since you are saying there's no reports, there's nothing that suggests that Dennis was ever corrupt. Now, this person says this. Dennis was nothing but a financial looter. I must confess, he did well as a hall president for Ugwa. Was your hall Ugwa? Yeah. And, but abysmal as SLC president. He talks about, was as a president, Francis, brackets, as a good president. No wonder they are in the same boat. They are all ambassadors of poverty, looting, students, covers. I hope I don't see the two of them in national politics. Otherwise, doom awaits the country. You send a message with no name, with no fact, nothing that suggests that somebody is caught. When you see such wrong accusations without fact, how do you take it as a leader? You see, um, the campaign process to get you into office is mm. a training process. Mm -hmm. It takes you through the toil and the time, uh, the toil and stress of the time mm. to prepare you for some of these things. Mm. So, in your time as, uh, as 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 campaigning into office, you are met with blows, yeah, uh, tough, tough, tougher messages than yeah. these. Which condition you to be ready for these things? Mm. You see, in your days as SRC president, too, you can't serve everybody's joy Interest, and yeah. smile. Mm. There are decisions you take that won't won't make people happy sometimes. Yeah. Unless and you sell ice cream, everybody will be happy. Good. Mm. So you don't expect, and you see sometimes too, information gap creates a lot of distrust. Yeah. So it's not everything you do. There are sixty-five thousand students. Um, some of them might not even um, see you throughout your. How many of them participated in an election to vote? Um, you? We have 20,000 on regular, so it's, it's an election which is participated in by 20,000 because mm -hmm. they are on campus. I think total was about 13,000 vote counts. Vote it was count. a huge voter turnout. Mm. The, the, the record highest in the history of the University of Cape was still date. Still date. Still date. And you had how, how many from the 13,000? Um, I had around four, almost 4,000 there. Well. Okay. We have four candidates. Okay. So, uh, and it was a stiff and a tough campaign. So these mm. messages were thrown daily and day in and day out. Mm. What you do as a leader, I feel, was you sit down, do an introspection. There are times some of these things carry some little lessons to you as a young person, as a leader. You pick them when you can and you shake those you can't off. All right. And you move on. Good day, bro. This, this is love. Picky, you know, you know, you know the person. Yeah, yeah, I know. That. Dennis is a great student leader, and being his classmate, I was privileged to experience his leadership. I wish him the best in his aspirations. I see you, bro. Okay, let me quickly go back to WhatsApp. This one says that Richie. This one, Richie. I don't know him, but from the way he is talking, his exposure really showed that he is indeed a leader. Okay, and this is from um, Smith Ebenezer. This one also. This one also. Um, Wow. Okay. Okay. Now, you, you, you with this whole, with, with this whole achievement to you, um, you were also an electoral commissioner for the entire National Union of Ghana student. At, at what year and what, which elections? Um, I think it was a year before um, Jihai's election. So, so the so election that that brought Tenkaru Tenkaru into office. Um, that particular election. You say you are not corrupt. I am not corrupt. I am not corrupt. And I am not corrupt. How do you say you are not corrupt? When elections were being held, halted, being held at a time where students had gone to bed, they come the next morning and the results has been declared. Why do you supervise such, um, I, such election? I don't know your version and if you... Uh, Tell me the version that happened okay, and I so, will speak to... Okay, you, you go ahead. Yeah, yeah. so we will have, we'll have a discussion. Okay, what, what, what actually happened? Okay, Because so, don't forget that these are the same people who are still... Some are doing their math, some are still students. And we'll come and look at nukes and, and its prospect. And we are looking at honesty and all of it. What happened? I think, first of all, um, mm. I want to put this on, 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 on record. That um, with all the things that I've done as a student leader... I feel my achievements are the impact I've made personal to people we've inspired to move on, not the physical achievements. That's one thing I want everybody to get, that it's not about the summer hats, it's not about the rules, it's, it's not about those things. For me, it's about the number of people who can say, we've been inspired by you to move on. Now to the issue of the Nooks election during the entire time. I think it was an election that, was, uh, that had a lot of challenges because we were, we were at a point of, of our union where uh, finances were a challenge. Everything was a challenge. So my confirmation as Nukes EC came around 2 p.m. on the day of election. And that was the last day of um, Nukes Congress. So whoever has been in my position before knows how tough it is to be confirmed as Nukes EC at 2 p.m. when you're supposed to run an election at 5 p.m. Starting from scratch. 
it was unfortunate that around that time it was not like today starting from scratch are you a campaign manager what no, starting from scratch you, as in printing ballot paper everything from scratch mm. unlike today where you are you have the foreknowledge or you are confirmed beforehand. so you are confirmed it means that did you use your money Good. to print the ballot so now papers? this is how so i'm giving you an account of all yeah, very well around 2 p.m you are confirmed and even from that to 6 p.m you don't have funds to print ballot or anything okay so from that time to 6 p.m you don't have funds the following day to congress has, is dissolving the entire place your, your rent or noob's rent has expired for that place. You have a national security that's detailed on grounds to ensure things are run. You have a noob's... We'll come to that. We will we'll come to the we national have, security. We we'll have, we'll have a noob's uh, executive committee. We have um, um, a lot of seemingly divisions around. So you are supposed to manage the egos of our aspirants. You're supposed to manage the egos of the noob's. You are supposed to manage the egos of the national security. Everyone involved. Now, we receive funds around 6 p.m. in the night. From who? From Nook's executives. Which Nook's executive gives you money from who? They didn't have money as a 2 Where for, did they bring the money from? I, I don't know. But they need to provide yeah. money to run the elections. I see. Actually. That is where... And you were part of Congress. Were you not part yes, of Congress? Yes, I was part of being Congress. Appointed. I was part and, of and, Congress. And you audit and in, in directly or indirectly the funds of Nook's. So as for, a Congress, unfortunately, did the Nook's have money? Unfor unfortunately, audit or Nook's Congress is in branches. Everyone has a role to play. As easy, it's not my role to audit. No, before you were appointed as easy. At that time, they had not presented their financial report. Okay. So you right. ascertain whether they have money or not. The debtness you can only pick it from. As, what as, as president, did you ever pay monies to nooks? Yes, I did. During my days, I paid my nooks. And you see, you paid twenty five thousand Ghana CD. I don't nukes. remember the exact amount I paid. I don't. It was in check. Actually, it was not even by cash. I know it's in check. So Nobody I, pays so directly. No, before there, there are a lot there are of schools that yes, submitted pay fiscal cash. cash there. Before my time as SRC president, UCC was paying cash. Fiscal cash. Yes. But I put it to you, uh -huh. or suggesting to you, uh -huh. that you paid between 10000 25000 to Nooks. There could be more. The Nooks, the Nooks metric of paying dues is not according you, to you, the... You, you, you don't have money. Hold on, hold on. You don't hold on, have hold money, hold on. You see, let's engage in the facts. Yes. It will make it a lively mm, conversation. Yes. The metric of uh, paying Nooks dues is not according to the gospel of Dennis Apia Labi Ampofo. It's according to the metric of the National Union of Ghana Students Constitution, according to the numbers of students you have. As soon as the number is certified by your dean, a check is raised by the university, paid into the NUCS account. I, Dennis Apia Labi Ampofo, has no control by it. Finito. Now we come to the issue of money's raised for EC payment or EC printing of ballot papers. And I, I still have that figure in my, in my head very clearly. How much? The entire NUCS Congress election money was 1,000 Ghana cities. Oh! You I spent thousand and I said, the entire money. That's why to people me. were saying that you took money. I'm coming there. Thousand cedis. I'm coming there. I'm, I'm coming there. Have you there. heard those rumors? I'm coming there. Have you heard I those have rumors? not. Are you are the first person. You've yeah. never heard rumors that you were bribed to make sure Tenkaro won the no. election. Okay, let's go on. I'll give you some facts. Uh -huh, so let's move on. Okay. So now we move on to the issue of how we printed ballot papers. Mm. Now we had to quickly run to town, get a, a printing press. We still owe some of them actually. Still. We still owe some of them because their money was not up to. And everyone who worked under me as EC, all my committee members, God bless them. You see, not even a single dime was paid as allowance. What came into the night? Every, the, our tra means of transportation was... went through all of this. All problems. of, nothing, nothing, not a penny. And no, nobody can tell me they gave us a penny. Was Nanabi on campus? No, I didn't was see. Was Samir Uku on, on I ground? I never saw any political party executive. Was Edem Agbana there? I never saw any political I'm asking, party. I don't have facts, yes. I'm just asking. I'm telling you, I'm giving you an account as, as to what I saw. Mm. So, one of the things that... You never saw any political party, party executive. youth organizer pass no. even in the morning? No. And in honesty, your other people no. who were there... I don't know if they saw. I, Dennis Apia Labian, but never saw. It's a test on your honesty. Yes, it's, and it's, it's, and it's, 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 it's a testimony of an eyewitness. That's I fine, but it's I a can't test give it to, honesty. I can't give it to those who understand. were not there. Understand. So now yeah. we move on to how the election will be dragged into the night. Mm. Now, funds are released around 6 p.m. Yeah. Around 6 p.m., we are supposed to uh, wow. move on. But you see, the thing is that Noobs has a culture which must be eradicated. And I'm happy Jay Hyde and his team is mm. working on it. Timeliness, timeliness and promptness. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It looks like it's normal for Noobs to run mm. um, uh, meetings and elections deep into the night. Yeah, yeah, it's been yeah. happening if, for if the last even this one ended midnight. Midnight. Yeah. So they, they felt very comfortable delaying mm. the process. And mm. myself and my team were angry to the last minute. Mm. Now, this is the problem. Thankfully, the year before, we had run a Noobs election at the same venue. Okay. We had conducted election at the same venue. Mm. So what do you do? You pick the roadmap of the previous year. And follow. And follow. And make it better. And make it better. Mm. So we say, okay, when we held the election, how we held the election, let's maintain it. And it was in a, a, a hall. So let's take it to the hall. Now, the funny thing is that now 
aspirants, certain aspirants who were part of the previous year EC, mm. comes and tell you that we won't agree for the election to be conducted at the same venue. Chaos breaks out and national security takes over. To the point where I was manhandled by national security. So that's that's the reason why people are suggested that national security announced the results. No. Who announced the, the results? I, I did. There are videos to it. You announced the results. I announced the results. So now the challenge came. People didn't vote. How did their vote come? How come did they, people didn't vote when we have videos and pictures? Dennis, are you vote? saying on record? Yes, people voted. That 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 you announcing results at midnight where people were not there was legit. Who were not there? You announced it in front of everybody. Who were not there? You announced it in front of I announced of it with a, a lot of you see. Then you announced it was Gombela there. Hold on, hold on. Hold on, hold on. Hold on. Let's not go, get to the Gombela bit. No, I'm just asking. Because if you get to the Gombela bit, now we will question how many news congresses we had that year. Mm. But that is a time we've passed by. Mm. And gracefully, our union has moved on. I'm asking this because people are tipping you to become the next nukes president. And so it's important we take a cast yeah, behind. It's good we do an introspection and Very retrospection well. to, Very to well. assess the, 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 the flaws of our union yesterday mm -hmm. to know how we are moving into tomorrow. Yeah. That yeah. election had a lot of uh, issues. That must be understood and yeah. stated yeah. clearly. Yeah. We had challenges. To vote into 2 a.m., 3 a.m. is a big hell. Senkawa was receiving... A lot of bash with things he didn't know about because he stood as a candidate and he was declared winner. Mm -hmm. People were blaming Te Caro as if he had masterminded results so for now, himself. So now the question we need to ask ourselves is that has every participant of Congress been around from start to finish before? So some came and left. Definitely, and went definitely. I've been at a Congress where I left before time. And I've been at a Congress. And, and people say that's a process where people even do boyfriend, girlfriend. Is it true? You see, so that's the point. That's the Is question. it true? That I can't account oh, for. That's that. the point. I, that's I, 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 I have never done boyfriend and girlfriend around that time. But what we are trying to say is that the union's congresses have always been a, a tolling activity. The last one, clearly yeah, showed, yeah, yeah. raining, we stood in, some left. So are you saying that because some left, the announcement made on that is day illegitimate. is illegitimate? Let me ask this. That election you supervise and quickly was it free and fair? It was free and fair, it was free and fair, but not without challenges. So, what the challenge did it affect the credibility of no? The it didn't. Do you know why it Tenkaro didn't? was validly elected? Do you know why it didn't? It, Tenkaro was validly the elections elected. I gave out, Tenkaro, yes, was he, he was validly elected? He was, he was. You see, that's the, 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 the bit of challenge we need to also assess is that. So, how do you deal with your political sympathy with the MPP and people thinking you went on that way wrong? How do you deal with that? Was there an MPP in DC? No, I'm saying that, that personally, on your philosophy or what you tilt to, that, do you let it show too much that you are too much of MPP in your daily I think my, my track record speaks for itself. So, it's not about your lineage to MPP? There are times I've leaned towards the, uh, the NDC caucus. There are times I've leaned towards. So, the you are neutral? Caucus. Um, neutrality is a bit ambiguous and vague. I feel neutrality in politics is, is a fast stretch issue. I like that. You are honest. Which party do you sympathize with? <laughs> well, then, next week when I'm coming in with Bill, it's Dennis on the political tangent. They will do that one. You can't tell for, your for, following. For today. For you, you, today. You can't tell Let's do the National Union of Ghana. So you see, the reason why... It the is reason why it's important to discuss that in that line is that people tag news as being politically infiltrated. And, this and is so we cannot... No. So we cannot go on when people pretend not to be belonging to any party, but they come in and do a political bidding. So now this is the challenge. The challenge is not about having a side. The challenge is about constantly repeating your side and working for your side. So you see, it's not a challenge for people to have political colleagues. Do you have interest as, in running for Nook's presidency? When we get to that river, we'll cross it. You can't use this platform to declare same. Oh no, we can. Do, you, interest, do, do, do interest, you agree with people who say you should run for Nook's presidency? I do agree. And, and, and are you ready for that? The, cha the challenge has always been there and we would always be ready. We have this platform where we hosted Richmond Code, you KD, who, who also for the first time declared on this platform the seat you are on that he is making himself available to contest for nukes presidency mm -hmm. we also had uh watchy yadom yb who also declared that he is going to contest for nukes presidency and some have artworks out mm -hmm. don't you think it will be unfair that you've spoken to people you have discussed that you want to stand for presidency and on national tv you are unable to be no, bold you, you know the you've not asked are you running for new president? You. No. Do you want you, us to play you, for you? You, 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 only, you only mentioned that people who feel. Do you run. agree with people who say you should and run? I said, and you yes. Said yes. And I'm saying, are you running for new yes. presidency? You didn't put that statement categorical in that line. If we play back that question again, sure would, you, would, would, you, would you step down for your intention to, to, to stand for new Then presidency? maybe the communication didn't come out right. Because I have never retracted or backtracked 
when it comes to being asked, do you want to run for next president? You see, their challenge to serve our people has always been straightforward and it has always been clear. Mm. When we have the opportunity to serve and we feel that we should step in the gap and we believe we can, we do. So that the point has always been, what kind of leadership are we giving to the union? Mm. The union has been faced with a lot of challenges mm. from the times of Hawaii to the times of division till now. We are still faced with challenges. Yeah. Where we are or where we are is that if we are not careful and we don't pick a right leader, someone yeah. who is intentional, who has been trained, groomed by the system, understands the system and is ready to, uh, to, to consolidate the gains we've made as a student union, we may be going back. Why did it take so long before you want to contest for prayer? You could have come last it, year. It, 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 it's not taking long. It's about timing. Mm. You see, even the Bible says that um, uh, time and chance happens to them. So it means there is a factor of time in everything we do. So at a point in time, every human being needs to do a proper reflection of their self to know that at this point in time, am I putting their best foot forward? Are you better off as president for National Union of Ghana student as compared to Richmond Kodi and Boachi Adam? You see, that's the point. The point is not about who is better or who is not I said, better. You, point, are you better off as president? No, are you better off than them in terms of anything? So, as president, do you think you stand a chance better off as president than them? And the, the point is not about them or me. Mm. The point is about how we build our union together. So at this point but in time... But it has to do with choice. Yes, who must lead? That's where I'm coming to. Yes. At this point in time, who would better consolidate the game? So are you made? better off to and help them gain? And, and that, that is not negotiable. That is not discussable. On the, plane of, on the planes of hesitation lay the bleach bones of many. Once we decide to hesitate, our bleach bones will be on the planes. This is what we must do. We must be careful the gains we've made. The gains we've made is not uh, huge. It is a step-by-step -step gains. We need to consolidate them. In consolidating them, we need to pick a leader who understands the times and seasons that we just came back from a, a divided front and we must carefully and gorgeously or uh, graciously guard the unity we have as a union. Play and understand and bring all fashions together. You see, vindictiveness is something that has not helped our union. And that must be eschewed at all points in time. We must have someone who casts across all the devices and shapes of our union. Someone who would appeal to all the sides and shapes. And until such a point in time where we can say we have stood firm for long so we can be rough, tough mm. and robust okay. in going forward. All right. Dennis, Which rating Jihad presidency briefly in one second. I think I said it on my Facebook or he's been doing very well. Okay. So, I, I mean, so, so you I give mean, him 90%. He, I, I, I've not done a, a proper... Uh, when you talk about numbers... But, but is he about 50% to you? Oh, definitely. Once mm. you, you put it out that he's done well... People think he's done better than Tenkaro. Is that your position too? You, you see, that's, this is my point has always been. People must be very careful and we must be very objective. Whenever you want to do figures and a comparative analysis, you must be careful to do a cross-data analysis to ensure that what you're so doing... So you have done a cross-data analysis? I have not. So I won't sit here and put it, J.I. is better than Tinkaru. How long you will see, it take for you to do you a... See, this is, how long will it take Richie, for you to do that Richie, such analysis? Richie, you how, see, how long will it take? And this is another part of the analysis I'm, I'm, I'm trying to uh, okay. uh, draw your attention to. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If you want to um, do a metric or analysis, mm. you must also take in consideration the times they both existed. Tinkaro existed in a time where there were seemingly two nukes president, mm. where he had the mantle of taking us from a divided front mm. and presenting us a united front. Think, um, J. Hyde, Ike, mm. Isaac has, has been in a time where we have a unity, but it's a fragile unity. Comparing these two, you might not give a, you might not give a better and accurate using only data, but you must also take into consideration the times and moment. Mm. What I say is. It is not about who's been good, who's been better. It's about the collective efforts to bring our union to this point. That is what we should be discussing, and not who's been good, who's been bad. Union is almost 60 years. What can we boast of? Is it we, are, we were divided yesterday and we are united today? No, 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 no. So, no. so you are one of the people that says that if the, since the constitution does not have remedies for this COVID-19 election and all of that, in an event where there's no elections, there's no handing over at the stipulated time that must be done. Are you part of the people who root for Jihai to continue? For the sake of unity, no issue. You, know, you see, this is my point. Just in 30 law, seconds. Law, laws were not made for people. People, mm, people were, uh, exactly. you understand. Mm. We must control the laws. Mm. So if the law says that at this time we must have an election, and at this time we can't have an election, what do we do? We change our ways to suit the times we are in. The times are not ordinary times. But what should, it should go to people like Jihai too is that you must be very careful you don't tread on the lineage of the people. You must, mar you must marry the situations and ensure that at a point where it is... Your, your, your warning is quite clear to him. 
Oh no, I mean, I, I, he, he knows I'll tell him this. Yes. And again, to, to us as aspirants to the level of self conceitedness in mm. us to ensure that at all costs we grab onto power, must mm. be very careful mm. and we must manage it. It is about the union. You see, for some of us, we've served 10 years in the union. Mm. We, uh, it's, if it's more about the power, we would have laid back and rested. Real. But Real. it's about Real. looking Real. at our Real. legacy, Dennis, go down the drain. Dennis, thank you so much. Thank it, you it's very such much. A powerful I, yeah, I've enjoyed it. Yeah, I've yeah, enjoyed yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. So <laughs> it looks like today you forgot we are, we're in the same class. You decided to punch oh, yeah, yeah, the yeah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, Good afternoon, Mr. Ho. Let me do this in just two minutes and let's leave here. Good afternoon, Mr. Ho. In fact, you and Dennis are looking um, resplendent in your dressing. Hey, thank you so much. <laughs> for Dennis is someone who is very industrious, eloquent, and ensures transparency in matters. Uh, Wilhelmently stating, under his administration as UCCS House President, or Guaho President, I will commend uh, him for his outstanding works, uh, which are monumental wish him greater height this is from amber rose of labadi and a graduate of ucc 2019 and the hall affiliate dennis do you regret being in ucc and also being the ogwa hall president and you uh, sr president this is john alote hamon Lu, uh, lucio senior brother okay this one says that richie the way Tinkaro won the election during his time was a surprise, but all the same, kudos to Tinkaro's administration. If you have what evidence to prove otherwise, you must bring it. Other than that, rest is par Uh Dennis did so well. I was even harmed by national security. He was a true legend of Nukes. I'm proud of him, and I believe God has blessed him this far. This is Robert, Nukes administrator. Okay, Robert. This was the Richie. We are proud of you, and I believe in all your deeds. God bless you. Dennis is a good soul. He's worked for the union and i believe he did his part uh in the joint front okay uh time is up time is up time is up time is up on facebook oh oh why are we doing this to you on facebook john alote hamon on facebook he says that dennis is the best and dennis you are also bringing your dennis is the best john alote hamon thank you very much <laughs> all those who watch us on facebook we say a very good 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 afternoon to you um this is where time will permit us, but tomorrow we shall bring you another exciting edition of Youth Empower. But before I go, just in about a second, what do you want to tell all students watching you? This is your camera, just, just briefly. Yeah. All students uh, thank watching Thank you very you. much, I'm, mm. uh, Rich. I'm grateful for the mm. opportunity. I think we've come to a point where uh, we need to be very careful what we do and what mm. we say tomorrow. Our union has a fragile united front. Our union has a huge history to live up to. We need to be intentional. We need to have faith and we need to choose carefully who takes over the union and as to where we are or we find ourselves in COVID-19 we need not to be so concerned about holding on to power or getting on to power we need to be careful ensure that we do what is right for our union at the right time for the right purpose our union shall grow and prosper let's be intentional and let us grow union my name is Rich Mwanda Mufasapo. We shall be here tomorrow with another exciting edition of Youth Empowerment Television Show. We always do this for God and country. If you say a prayer, say some for me. Bye.